How's it going, Warlords? Dark Britain is back on the stage with my amazing co-host, the Samurai. Drew, actually let him get a sword real quick. Go ahead. I, I, wait, wait a minute. Oh, there it is. There it is. Here. I feel like I should have this sword today because it's berserk. I should have my big, my, my big one, right? This is, uh, this is more berserk. It, you should, yeah. Um, so I watched the three movies. And that's it. I have not read any of the manga. Uh, whoa, 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 that's totally not true. I read the manga after chapter like 200, whatever, whatever the movie had off. Mm -hmm. So this is the first episode of Binging Berserk. Um, Kintir Kintaro Miyori, rest in peace. Uh, this is something that I've really been interested in Berserk for a long time, and what better time to start reading the manga than now, really, to be completely honest. And this is going to be an adventure. For those who are around the channel, we're One Piece YouTubers, we do anime and some other stuff, but we've never really done manga live reactions, especially uh, for other series, and but this kind of seems like a series. And some people are like, oh, it's 300 chapters. We're well into the thousands <laughs> of One Piece, so right. we'll be fine, we we'll be manage. fine. But also, this prologue is 92 pages. First so chapter. we were just gonna like do right. Wait, what is it? First chap, first chapter of the prologue. We'll see how this all plays out. We're uh, we, we haven't were told to go through the prologue, right? Like, like then mm -hmm. go from there. And the page that I'm looking at that you gave me looks like the big 92 page spread. It has a really that. cool photo. I'm guessing this is the MC with uh, the four arrows right in his. It looks like a little gauntlet, like a little machine gun thing for your wrist but for arrows which is pretty dope actually yeah so, lots of scars uh bandages uh so yeah it's like medieval cyberpunk <laughs> strange medieval cyberpunk well we're at, we're in for an adventure because binging berserk begins in three two one okay initial pages berserk with the background berserk one Kintari Mira, thank you. Rest Dark in peace. Horse manga. That's actually dope. So I am look. Oh, it is page five, and he is being hung up, and it looks yeah. like looks like his arm is trapped somewhere. This is gorgeous. His wow. I'm starting to understand what people meant by when they said he put an insane amount of detail into the work. Because right, the, I've heard that too. The gear on his arm right now is pretty intense. And then we'll wow. start. Let's start rotating. So you'll take the next one, and then let's we'll start oh rotating. Oh my from god! Okay, well I'm on the next stage. I guess I let me take this one away if you would. Um, uh, I have table of con. I'm at table of contents. Oh, Dear okay. God. <laughs> okay, so it's a sex scene uh, with a girl, and then the girl turns in to a demon. What? And she goes, yes, yes! And as she's, I I'm assuming not coming to fruition, <laughs> as she uh, comes home, uh, she, and she goes, yes! And turns into a demon. And yeah, I guess you got the next page. <laughs> Wow, um, so we are off to an interesting interesting start. I'm dear, What is this? Oh wow. Um he is lit. I don't know if he's still inside of the thing. But it has its yeah, arms no, around so. him. He, like, up, it, like. it has its eyes around him. Its eyes are open and just staring at it. That's the weirdest part of those eyes. Uh yeah, it looks like he's finally pulled out. I don't know if he's you know, we we don't know if he's in trouble or not. <laughs> I don't, yeah, this might just be his thing. <laughs> maybe, maybe they just like each other. How is this oh, the first okay. chapter? Well, we don't, yeah. You're I'm next. Not, yeah, I'm next. I, <laughs> well, we, we get the answer right away. You fell into my trap, fool. And she does, well, honestly, whatever guy's nightmare is, it's great. <laughs> So the girl like wraps her arms around you as you're, is like, oh no, <laughs> you know, that'd be a pretty bad, that'd be like, this is to the nth degree of that, where instead of that, uh, you fell into my trap as a demon, which is such funny hyperbole if that's the joke, right? 
I, I, I'm, my brain is just trying to really wrap my head around. What's Am I going reaching right now. into something that's not there? You know? I have no idea. I, we're, this is chapter one, and we literally just had the we weirdest sex scene I've ever seen. Can you imagine this in Shonen Jump? No, <laughs> like, I can't. Oh my god. I uh, keep reading because I'm interested now. Okay, okay, sorry. The only, yeah, geez, yeah, so many chapters. Yeah, I gotta hurry up here. The only one trapped is you, bitch. Oh, 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 it's hardcore! It's hardcore! Oh my god. Is that a gun that he stuck in her mouth? Okay, yeah. This is your last taste of heaven before I send you to hell. And. Alright, I'm going on. This is. Jeez. And that's it? What? And what, what it looks like is a shriek. A shriek in the woods, so it pans up and, into the mountains as he assumedly well, kills her. I mean, talk about not calling her the next day. <laughs> wow. Wow. So this is re so he's throwing his sh uh, his cloak over his shoulder. Looks back. A couple of sweats. So I mean, I don't know if that's sweating from getting laid or um, getting the job done. But demon wham is now burning on the fire, and he never had to talk to her again. <laughs> oh my god! This geez. is how is this the beginning of this entire story? You're wow. next. Uh, then we see a castle, and uh, the main character. I don't think we've heard his name. I know we his haven't. name, but I know his name his too. Name? But yeah. Okay. Okay. So we have our main character here strolling through town, and we get two interesting characters here. We have a knight and uh, what looks like a homeless person with a dumb a and dumber haircut. Yeah, like uh, someone who's like, yeah, he's missing a foot. So we have a beggar. Who's, oh yeah. Who's um been handicapped. Moving on, you have Guts passing a carriage that's filled with children. Okay, this is this kind of story, huh? Um, and then you have guards talking to women. Try. I'm not really really sure what's going on behind that. But and then Guts looks back and is like, "What's going on here?" Let's see here. Now, we have feet, and then we have a knife. Ah! Damn, whoa! Whoa! What is this? Damn, you missed. We have a knife between open legs. I'll let you, let me know when you go into the next one. Yeah, okay. Oh, you missed. And we have, like, well, it looks like oh, yeah, a, a fairy with no genitalia. You know that you draw a It's a fairy! Okay! And so we have a fairy, uh, flaming, flaming hair. Uh, stop squirming around! How am I supposed to hit you? <laughs> yeah, okay, so he's the villain. He's right. a bad guy. He's a bad guy. And the, the coolest part is probably his uh, sidekick, the guy with the mullet, who is just probably my favorite look right now. I, 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 I kind of want to copy that. That looks pretty cool. You can pull anyway, it off. I, I, I have the leg, you know, but anyway, okay, let's move on. Uh, I feel sorry for that elf. It's an elf. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, so it's an elf, not a fairy. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Huh. Not even the Lord Mayor can lay a hand on the men of Cocoa Castle. Let's not get involved. So we're at a bar. There's like a gang, and people are looking at the side. They're like, oh, I'm gonna here. Hey, here comes the next one, and it looks like he's about to throw another knife. And then so I also, the also. whole carriage of the of the of the kids. Not, doesn't have anything to do with this bar. No. Right. So I, I thought I was inside the, the carriage for a second. Mm -mm. No. So, we, yeah. So, I'm going to mess up. Okay. Okay. Wow. I like this guy. Puts money on the bar. I'm going to mess up your shop a bit. I like wow. that. That is dope. Scrolling down, guys like Nani. John <laughs> uh, reaches behind him and pulls out his. I don't know what that is. Bring it on, fathead. Why don't you untie me? I'll gnaw right through your arteries. 
<laughs> I'm gonna stuff those tough words right down down your throat. Now stop wiggling. And then the elf apparently is like, "Wah! No! 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 No!" Um, let me know when you go on to the next one. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm on the next one. Okay. And what? yeah. You know, which is wonderful, and what I'm looking at, and I'll put the image up for sure, because this is one of the fuck. Dude, that's, he, his head has been... Everyone, everyone is just shook. ...to the wall, and, uh, what? The, the, it, it's, it, yeah, people are just stopping their tracks. The elf, uh, yeah, has a really funny, uh, uh, <laughs> voice to it, like, uh, what? Uh, the, the shock and surprise from the lackeys. And Igor, bastard, who the hell? And right as he draws his weapon. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, so you already went? Okay, right as he draws his weapon, there are the more. I'm on 16 now. Okay. Um, as he, it look, so it's a firing that detail on this is gorgeous. Yeah, I can yeah. see why it took him so long to do these. I, I really like the idea of that arrow. Like how they're just like lines like that as well. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he's just like, vroom, 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 vroom. yeah, he has a, uh, it's an arrow machine gun. Personal arrow machine gun. Tommy! <gasps> right into the eye! Oh my god! <sighs> ah! One in the throat. I mean, for not being able to really aim with that thing, <sighs> he's doing damage. Hardcore. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he these took. These guys didn't even, like, uh, size him up. He just is like, these guys are evil and they'll die. He doesn't give them a chance to, you know, come clean or, you know, beat them up and then uh, get out of town. He's killing them right away. But he leaves just one in the middle for some reason. And then that's oh. all you. And he's okay. like, ah. Oh. And, like I said, and, and my favorite looking one, too. Which would be cool if this guy uh, take a look. Because I think that he looks smaller. And we have a full page spread of the main character and he's looking like he's coming out of Greece. He is looking like he is a uh, he's, he's looking like the coolest guy on campus and the, the detail in his eyes, the motion. He's it, a dude. It, Go ahead. He looks like he doesn't want to do this but he has to. Yes, but he's a dude who just got done banging a demon. That's what he looks like. <laughs> That's what he looks like. Right. Who just got done enjoying banging a demon. That's what he looks like. Wow. This dude is a monster. I'm starting. To, I'm really starting to see the appeal already. His hair looks amazing. It's incredible. Why is his crotch so shiny? Jeez. That's what happens it's, when you bang it, demons. It's like a cup. <laughs> it's a cup. Because <laughs> yeah, of all the He's things that protect him... I, well, with who he's screwing, I can see that now. <laughs> On to 18. You have to lift that flap up to have sex with the demon. It turns colors. That's how he knows it's a demon or not. Oh, okay. And then you have, then you have the elf with... Okay. I don't know why the elf is covering their chest when they have no genitals. Like, I don't... Like, would you get nipples but no nothing between? Anyway, rant aside. I'll take I'll take uh, I'll take regular. Oh, okay. So the yeah. dude that Drew likes is just like, um, I'm sorry if I. And then halfway through that thought, right through the nose. How can he aim like this? Wow. Yeah. 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 So, uh -huh. He's down. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh my goodness. And he just goes and just pulls on it. You're on 19 whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm so glad I got this one. That's gotta hurt. You're one of the sons from Coca Castle, aren't you? So yeah, the elf is... Yeah, it, it, apparently the comedic levity in the situation because everything else looks, looks horrific. Uh, you're, you're one of the sons from Coca Castle, aren't you? <laughs> So he said yes, and then he slams his head with the arrow on the ground. Answer me. Yes, uh, yes, sir. Uh, and he's about to interrogate him. And yeah, you know, I look at the mouth, and it, he it, like 
the expression, I just don't think I've seen expression like this before. Like, it, it, it's a lot of character coming out of these people. Uh, it looks like he's about to kiss look. him. He's like, oh, answer me. It's like, he looks like a JoJo right now. <laughs> All right, then. I suppose you can deliver a message to your boss for me. What, what, what message? I'm on now. Let's go. The Black Swordsman has come. That's all. Huh? The Black Swordsman? <laughs> and then behind you, he reaches back and then lifts what I'm guessing is the Buster Sword for this. Dear God, that's huge. <laughs> I think I got this one, yeah. You're on the 21. Oh. Ho ho! And. He, so, wait, 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 I, I just want to make sure we're in the, yeah, we're, 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 we're in, he's slashing a guard in half, and violence is betrayed by black blood. It is a cut in half person, and... One swing. One swing. Uh, apparently a top slash, so, like that. Oh, yeah, because he's coming from the top, but it does look like he's... He did that all in yeah. one motion. He did that all, I'm looking back and forth. It was literally up and then down to cut the person in half. One mo, this is. Look at that pose too, the pose is so cool. <sighs> yeah, and of course as the reader, we didn't even think about someone behind him. We thought he took care of everybody. So his intuition to just chop, like he knew he was there so confidently, he just chopped backwards. I'm, we got the next one, I guess. <sighs> I, I just want to, I'm, just one second, because this <laughs> is brilliant. Um, his, like, you're right, his eye, the eye, he doesn't even need to have pupils, like, everything is just. I, it, so when they don't have pupils in anime or in manga, right, it means that they're basically working on intuition, right? They're like, geez, you would they're think. Like unconsciously doing it. Yeah. But also, there's a guy in the right that doesn't have people's too, but I don't think he's doing the same thing. I think everyone is like, Nani. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm a, let's going. And then the body just goes tumbling, flying, quite literally. We have a by everyone around. Shock faces. Austin mustache. It was much too big to be called a sword. Mm. Even the elf is freaked out a little bit. You're on. Okay. And we have a, and he just loves drawing the main character like in a long uh, you know, like long poses. Mm -hmm. uh, massive, thick, heavy, and far too rough. Indeed. It was like a heap of raw iron. I'm counting on you. Um uh, excuse me, hey! Wait a second, don't leave me here. Oh man. <laughs> now gonna get left behind. Right. And yeah, so we still don't know the name of the sword, right? Yeah, no. We, we don't know, know the name of him. Sword. Right. But that's probably going to happen until chapter one, right? They probably want to wait for the character introduction in chapter one. We'll see. I'm beginning to see why people are in, uh, wanting us to understand that this is dark fantasy first. Because now, I mean, if this is an elf, I'm glad that I know that now. Instead of like 10 chapters in, I'd be very confused. Right. Uh, hey, wait up, says the elf. I'm not going to get used to this. Listen, if you're going to save someone, you just don't leave them tied up. You're supposed to follow it through to the end, you know? Say, so that's a quite a nice sword you got there. Or should I call it a slab? <laughs> and okay. it, he's ignoring elf. It, it, is his eye permanently closed? I'm just not noticing that. Yeah, it looks like it. He has a shouting gun. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm Puck. Nice to meet you. So, Puck. Oh, Puck's a talker, isn't he? Or them. Yeah. I'm assuming. You see, I was in a troop of traveling performers, but we were attacked by those bums. Since then, I've been locked up in um, Mina Bird's cage and soaked in a wine bottle. It's a wonder I'm still alive, that's for sure. Yeah, Puck's a talker, I'm not going to talk. <laughs> okay. 
the town was also attacked by a number. Uh, the town was also attacked a number of times, but the Lord Mayor made a deal with the thugs in exchange for tribute. They promised that they'd leave the town free and there'd be no more raids. Interesting. But after this, I guess they they'll start attacking again. You know, if I were you, I get out of town fast. I mean, if they catch you, they'll cut you to pieces. And yeah, say nothing. <laughs> and like, yeah, the, I, I'm just really, I, I think it's it's more of the main character's face, but yeah, obviously I'm a little annoyed by Puck already too, but I'm sure that's gonna have a Usopp effect where it'll get better over time. Um, and it's not just the thugs either. Now that the Lord Mayor has a pact with them, even the town guards will, and he sacks her away. Because he tried sitting uh, on them. Get out of here with that. <laughs> yeah, it looked oh, like he was, he was coming in to land on his shoulder, and dude's like, get out of here with that. Yeah, Puck's annoying. Ow! That hurt! What'd you do that for? Don't touch me. I'll squash you. <laughs> Bye! What is with you? A person shows you a little concern, and you respond like, with that stick up, um, stuck up attitude of yours. And at that moment, we have a ton of people. See, I told you. And everyone has their crossbows pointed at them. It's all you, buddy. Okay. And then he says, well, gotta go. Damn. And Oh, no. We're in a dungeon. Oh, which, boy. Here we go. I'm oh going to take boy. a drink before this. <laughs> I'll take some water. We're in a dungeon, and, yeah, we see some blood dripping down, and it looks like a whip. Uh, yeah. <sighs> All right. Let's get into it. Yeah. And we have a visual that we saw earlier. With the arm attached, with the arm and everything. Again, looks gorgeous. But, got some scars there. Yes. Uh, okay, next page. Uh, you're a stubborn bastard, you know that? And the, <laughs> the uh, warden, the warden, or the, you know, the dude that tortures people, is uh, getting a little frustrated. And, yeah, he's hanging there. We see a bunch of weapons. It looks like uh, to sh stuff to take out people's teeth and cut their balls off and all the awful stuff in the world. Uh, ain't you even gonna make a little noise? And he spits on him. <laughs> Spit blood into his face. <laughs> yeah, oh, right, right. And he goes, you bastard! And then we get, uh, some people come through the door and he goes, stop! Alright, I'm intrigued. Moving on. That's enough for now. M my lord You have an exclamation point. That stockpile of weapons, it belongs to this man? Yes, Lord This is the Lord Mayor. Okay. Mm. Yes, Lord Mayor. Enough weapons to start his own war, crazy bastard. You are you a mercenary? Dot dot dot. Don't even know if he's a mercenary or not. So if he's taking on the thugs that these guys are afraid of, why did he let them take... Never mind. That's just ask too many Well, maybe he is open for this moment right here. A complete stranger to these parts. You've done a terrible thing because you've murdered those men. This town may very well be destroyed. Do you have any idea what you've done? Are you telling me that those guards standing there are cowards? Are scarecrows? Sorry. And he, he, he looks... And he goes, what? And up! <laughs> we got the guard like looking like he's like all pissed off. You have no. And then uh, here's the Lord Mayor again, which he maybe he seems like a almost a good guy. I don't know. So far, uh, Howard, you have right, right. You have no idea how horrible he is. The ruler of those men. Oh, he, that thing, is beyond human. It's horrible. It's something horrible and incomprehensible. A creature from the depths of hell. 
He has the cobra Kai, the cobra mask on. I like this. <laughs> no one can kill him. At least not anyone human. Dude, that horse is swagged out. I like it. That is like that is the sickest headgear. He's and it's like totally wrapped. Yeah, it's cool. Wow. I see. I said a bunch of TikTok terms there. Sorry. I forgot you were back on TikTok. So in guts is looking. The guy's name is looking down. I see. So that's why you made your dirty deal with him. How could you understand? A vagrant like yourself, as he now gets the nerve to grab his face. I understand. I know all about it. How he's a monster that eats human flesh. Okay, so it's a demon. Uh, or, or, no, a monster. He's saying he's a monster that eats human flesh. The monster. I know it very well. And yeah, everyone, everyone uh, is, is like captivated. And I know that you continue to provide him with his meals. I passed them at the gates of the city. A prison wagon full of women and children. Oh, so this guy is an asshole. Mm-hmm. I, I, well, well, maybe not. I don't know. I, I don't know. You just don't know what kind of situation you'd be in. I mean, it would seem like fighting and dying would be better, but then everyone dies. Yeah, but you're sending off the women and children. So if there's a reason why you save the women and children. So if you're sending them off to be sacrificed, who are you protecting? You're not protecting the future of the city. You have totally persuaded me. Yeah, I think you're right. But he's old. He doesn't have, uh, you know. So he why isn't he? To... Why isn't he putting up the old people to be sacrificed? Yeah. Uh, well, maybe it's because the monsters like young girls. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. I passed him at the gates of the city. Uh, prison wagon, wagon full of women. I am the mayor. It is my duty to protect this town. Protect this town. Don't you mean protect yourself? Okay. So it's the same thoughts that we were having there. Let's go to the next page. You. Uh, uh, and he. Oh my god, he's clutching his pearls like a heart attack or something. And he falls down. My lord! He guts with a little smile. Do it. Torture him as much as you like. I don't care. But don't kill him. We still have to hand him over to Coca Castle alive. And the guy is just like, oh, right. And then he hits him with the hot brand. Jeez, Louise. I don't like. I hope Guts kills this dude first. <laughs> and now we're at an outside view of the castle, and uh, they're they're taking the old man away. I'm kind of confused why he collapsed, but maybe it's because he was so because he was like. So someone uh, actually challenged out. him. Yeah. Right. Blood uh, pressure and all that. Prepare my carriage immediately. I'd best go to Coco Castle myself and beg for forgiveness. The Black Lord. Swordsman, you say? Yes, Baron. Ooh. Oh. So hopefully we deal with this villain uh, in this little preamble here. That'd be cool. Yeah, it would be really, really cool. His sword was so big, it towered over him. And he split Dean in half with one stroke. He dressed in all black and had a false arm made of iron. A real shady looking guy. And we have dots from some rando cut eating food. Could it be him? He said with some snaggly teeth. My lord, what is it? What is it? That wretch, the mayor, is waiting at the castle gate. He requests an audience with you about the recent incident. I see. This dude, I... I'm not going to say what I want to happen to this dude. Because right. in, it seems like in this manga, it might actually happen. Right. If, if it's bad, it'll happen. Uh, it's been a while, Mayor. How good of you to come? And yeah, he's, he's, it's not looking good. He has, it's, it's, it's a comically long table. Like, this table is coming straight out of Bugs Bunny. Like, you have a gulp. Is. Oh, uh, yeah, in the gulp. Uh, your lordship, I have come to you to ask for forgiveness for this recent transgression. This was the act of a vagrant who is unfamiliar with our ways. There is no connection to any of the townsfolk. And yeah, he's just eaten what, I mean, maybe flesh or a steak? I don't know. I'm oh, so that, oh, so 
He was out of his suit. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. I thought there were uh, two people. I thought it was a, uh, him, he was wearing a suit, and I thought the skinny dude was like someone else. So he took off the suit. Okay. Got it. All right. Let's. Dude, I am so glad that my freaking bullet guy is still still around. I'll give you right. I'll give you double the amount of prisoners in gold from now on. So please, you look troubled, eh? And like before, you're now worried about losing your own life, aren't you? Aren't you? Oh, whoa! <laughs> he flicks what was on his fork and it's a human ear. Oh my gosh. Oh. And yeah, so we see the human ear that's like dripping with maybe, maybe he put a nice bag of red on it. Maybe he's maybe, maybe it's gravy, I don't know. Uh, gold prisoners. Gold prisoners. I don't care about such things. Oh, I wish to see our humans within a fiery apocalypse trying to escape. All I wish to hear is the sound of snapping bones crushed under the hooves and horses. What? Uh, <laughs> Gene's always. Um, and I don't even need an excuse. None at all. And, oh my god, that is a scary uh, thought. Like, he didn't need an excuse for violence at all. He'll he just do it just because. He's terrifying. And then, yeah, the mayor gives him the, has a terrified look, and he's grabbed. What? What are you doing? Let go of me. Let go. My lord, my... My lord. And, yeah, his face just gets contorted. The Black Swordsman. And then we just see his eyes over his entire, entire location or castle. Right. And to go to the next pit. Okay, I'm definitely gonna put this image up. Uh, so he's so we go back to the main character who's in the bottom of the cell. Damn, I can't move. Ugh. And he and he looks up and there's I mean it's a fetus. It's like a really no 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 it's not a fetus is it? It's it's a fetus but it doesn't look like it's a human. It looks like it's like an animal of some sort. Yeah, like a cat fetus maybe. I um, next. But yeah, he can't move, so... Oh! It has an eye! It just looked at him. Oh! Oh! Oh, this is gonna be my dreams tonight. And then and then he's just like... He's just looking at him, he's like, Ugh, even you're, you're ugly. You... You again, huh? And then the thing looks up, and then falls, and then jumps at him? Oh, he's, no, he jumps at him or crawls to him? It looks like it jumped off of that the bed, because it was on top of, like... Oh, okay. It was, okay, like, well, on top so of the straw. Oh, oh. Okay, well, we go to the next page. But it looks like it's crawling, because it didn't go very far. <laughs> if it was a jump, it wasn't very good one. He's crawling, and he's like, oh, get away from me! Get away from me! And then we see a uh, flock who slips and falls, and then there's keys in the what looks like some kind of awful liquid. It's got to be Puck. Thank you, Puck, to the rescue. One bug. Ah, calf, calf. What's with all? What's with that all of a sudden? You scared the hell out of me. You from the tavern. Hey. This water's kind of yellow. Don't tell me it's... Oh. <laughs> and he looks and the thing is gone. Okay. Oh. My. God. That, what? I don't... I'm very... That oh, thing I is way no too creepy idea. to take your eyes off of. Um. Have a nightmare? Wow. They really worked you over, didn't they? Well, rest assured, I gave that egghead guard something little... A little something to sleep on. And go to the next. Uh, wow, everywhere I look, you're covered in wounds. I told you, you shouldn't uh, listen to my. You should have listened to my advice. What'd you come here for? To repay a debt? We elves have a strong sense of duty. Yeah, and... that's enough. Hmm. Now let's see. Don't touch me. 
Don't you ever touch me. Whoa, a little aggressive. I'm so confused. Are, does, is it just an elf thing or is it anyone thing? Well, the guard, the guy touched him. But then he, his heart felt bad or something. Like, he, he was hurting after he touched him. The, the hell? He, he grabbed his face. I don't know. The hell? I ain't ever going to do anything bad to you. And he's like, ugh! Exclamation point. Look at yourself. You're in no position to give me that kind of attitude. Now be quiet and let me handle it. Stop! <laughs> Am I... What are we looking well, how at? How am I supposed to feel? <laughs> how am I supposed to feel about this? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> He's spreading pollen. Puck is spreading pollen. Okay. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna move on yeah, so my so this and, so and I don't think about this. Is, it got me to forget the fetus though. <laughs> the fetus, but whatever this is. Uh, and the yeah, it just looks really strange. He's very posy, and he uh, or she or whatever a puck is uh, putting the pixie dust on the main character here. We elves got all sorts of powers. The pain is disappearing. We can heal wounds. We can sense people's emotions. We can even make people happy, or at least that's what our troop leader said before he got his head cut off by bandits. Oh yikes! Wow. Okay, Guts is giving a little bit of appreciation look. Say, what's your name? Guts. Alright. Yes, for those um, watching, this is our first. We have at least heard the MC. Like, I'm 33. I've heard of this series before. And I know at least know the MC. Clearly, I don't know anything because I'm still stuck on this pixie being an elf. But other than that, it, we finally have... This is our first time hearing the name... Almost 15 pages into the first chapter. Why'd you come to this town anyhow? Dot dot dot. You don't have an answer. If you don't want to, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Hey, what's that? This thing on your neck that looks like a crest or something. Okay. Okay, next page. And, and he's off. He goes, goes flying. What did you do? What did I do this time? Brand, it's the brand, and the silhouetted eye uh, looks uh, psychotic almost. Not even sad. So that uh, brand is new. That he just got that when he was knocked out. Uh, what makes you think that? Oh, just his reaction to it. Hey, what's okay. this on your neck? What is this? And he puts his hand on. It, he's like, it's the brand. It's the brand. I that's my that's my thought at least. Okay. I'm what, I'm what, speculating. What brand? What's that? What is, what's it mean? How did it happen? Who did it to you? I don't like Puck. <laughs> it is getting us through some exposition. Thank like, you, yeah. guts. You talk too much. <laughs> you know that. Uh, you'll find out soon enough. Pretty soon he'll come here to kill me. See? Okay, I think. Yep. He's branded as well, as well as burn this whole town to the ground. Oh, does that mean it's those guys from Coca Castle? Okay. N next page. Uh, you, you mean you're planning to drag the townspeople into all this? And he's smiling. And he goes, I don't care. Exclamation point. And now he's laying down. All I want to do is find that bastard and kill him. I don't care about anything else. Wow. And what is a fun main character is somebody who has his own selfish agenda. Like, Luffy wants to be king of the pirates, right? A main character with a selfish goal is uh, something to look for. So, yeah, you know, this I don't care about anything else. But killing this bastard is, a, yeah, this is such I'm a cool a, character here. I'm going to wait until I, like, give a pass on his goals and his purpose before. It's the kind of manga where I think I'd say that, and then he's just like, this is it. And I'm like, I don't want any part of that at all. I want no. No, thank you. Um, 52 is me. So, ah. Anyone who dies because they get caught up in someone else's fight is a small fry who doesn't have the strength to survive in the first place. Again, I don't think I was going to be... I'm, I'm not good to sign off on that. 
His emotions are pouring into me. My chest is burning. If someone can't live their life the way they please, they might as well die. I agreed with that part. Yeah. Uh, is it rage? No. It's just that. It's rage, sadness, and fear. It's all mixed together, so dark. And there's something even deeper than that. Whoa. Ooh. Rage, sadness, and fear. Uh, and look, fuck is looking. In that case, what about when you saved me? Right, he took off the, he took off the neck, uh, rope. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Now who's laughing? That's him. Yeah, so he, so so Gus is laughing. Okay. Idiot. Who do you think you? What? What? Okay, this is an interesting character. Idiot. Who do you think you are? Why would anyone save you? To think I'd risk my life for a little bug, and then headbutt to the jaw. Yeah. What are you doing, you little? Gut said the wrong thing. Uh, you, you went too far. Hey, wait! Where do you think you're going? Damn. What was that all about? And, yeah, well, I at least want the keys by his feet. So he's like, nice. Uh, he's looking at it. A lot of uh, ellipses. And that's what you call that, right? The dots? Ellipses? Yeah. It's, yeah, a lot of ellipses. In the stuff on it. <sighs> this is so interesting. And he's. He just dug into his own skin and scratched himself for some reason. And then he's now at the bars looking out. Ugh. Ha 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 ha. I've been what? waiting for you. You're, yeah, your turn. Keep going. And Puck is oh! flying above the city. And yeah, everyone's dying. I didn't even catch all that. Yeah, there was fire. Oh. There's fi there was fire going off in the distance on the page I was reading. I didn't even catch all that. Oh right, right, right. We're just, I'm just looking at losing tattoos. He's lose. Um, anyway, okay. Island acts horrible, and Puck is looking at everyone's head being stomped in. Bunch of chaos. What is? Whoa! Full page spread. Wow. Who are these people? Oh, it must be the the Baron or whoever. Wow, they are just storming down on everyone. And it looks like the the knights that are quote unquote the good guys are turning and running. That or it's is that them? I it looks like they're attacking. Okay, so you have them in the background. The dead bodies. I thought the the faces at the very bottom of the the screen were. I was gonna oh, say the, the good guys, the the other soldiers turning and running, but it's so them, it's, the dead bodies, and then them running past the dead bodies. Well, I think what it is is the people on the horses are the mercenaries, and then these dudes at the bottom are the soldiers, right? It and looks so, like these are the same. Look at the helmets. The helmets are all the same. Right, so you're saying the bottom row is the soldiers or no? Bottom row is the dudes that we're looking at up at the top. We just get to see them close up in their eyes. So it's you have them oh, on the horse oh, and then you have them close up. Right, okay. No, I didn't get that at all. That's interesting. Wow, I didn't get that at all. Okay. Uh, on to the next, and we understand now why it's kids. Uh, he uh, fears a kid in half. Uh, and drinks its blood from his mighty axe. And the horse is in a really cool rearing position with its swag. And yeah, it's true. He, all he wants is destruction, and he's got it right here. He is terrifying. And then Puck is... Huh? That's not a human. Charge. Burn everything to the ground. So he isn't human. Has to be a vampire. I, I don't know. I don't know what the creatures are in this world because Guts, a fairy looks a like monster. an elf. Okay. Monster. <coughs> monster it is. So it, we have um, them charging towards dead bodies and they're getting closer. Getting closer and Guts. <laughs> and Guts just sticks his head up. And, and Guts is like, 
Right, yeah. Oh, wow. So I'm a little confused, though. Is why is he under the... Oh, because he was hiding under yeah. the bodies to spring up. Uh, okay, got it. All right. Yeah, and, and, and of course, you know, everything's beautiful. And it's like, okay, we're back in business. We've got size of all his equipment. Everything's good. Except for the dead bodies in great detail all around him. This dude it has no chill with his artwork. Under the corpses? What? Guts. And here comes the Whirly Derby. Can we just call it that, the Whirly Derby? <laughs> sure. And I yeah. will have a name eventually. He starts just mowing them down. Absolutely just smashing these guys. With his Whirly Derby. Uh, yeah, and everyone just starts, uh, it, blah, blah, yeah, everyone's getting stabbed in the face from the next page, uh, and, yeah, he, and then we get a, we get a back view of, yeah, everyone's dying. He can just kill eight people in a second, like that, with those things, and, and, yeah, he's mad, and you can see teeth coming, you can see his canines coming out. I think he's enjoying this too much. What? What the hell kind of crossbow is that? And then you have someone up from charging from behind. Wah! And here comes the sla. Poor horse. Why? What? What? Yeah. The 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 blood is one handed. Just... One handed. So in, insane looking. Yeah. And, and and not only does it cut the horse in half, it cuts the rider in half. In the same swing. <laughs> I'm dead. I just have never seen anything like this. This is cool. What is like, maybe Game of Thrones says, I don't think the mountain like, caught a horse in half, but he didn't do a horse and a dude. And a rider. Coming yeah, at him at I'm... full speed. Right. With one arm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, this is, this. yeah, this is this you. Is okay. Uh, I whoa! And he gets his looking at his sword. He goes, he he's so strong. Puck is uh, very much admiring him. And yeah, ah! And uh, he's about and he, he's getting charged up. Okay. And now we have ah. And then we have exclamation point. And here comes the big bad. Oh yeah. Let's see here. So you're the Black Swordman, the one who's been hunting us. Apostles? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Deal. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you hope to accomplish, but to think that a mere mortal can oppose us. Who's us? And guts. Oh. So, and then Guts is reaching for a new slot of arrows and it's getting charged up. Uh, but he dropped his sword, which is a little strange. I'm a little confused on that one. And now we have... Have we gotten this dude's name? I kind of forget. Um, he, he's like no. a monster, right? Okay. I mean, we'll hear it right now. Uh, but to think that a mere mortal can oppose us is pure folly. And yeah, he's, he's getting ready to charge. And, that yeah, horse looks, looks amazing. So cool. Yeah. And then here comes the Whirly Derby. And he bring. It looks like he's either missing or it's just not phasing him. No, it's not phasing. What on earth? Catches him in the neck. And here he comes whirling back his axe. Neck, abs, one in the eye, face, and mouth. So he's being hit. What are these apostles? Okay, uh, he did it! And yeah, he got a bunch of arrows. My lord! Oh, he actually and knocked him off. Yeah. He was looking like, hey, he won! Hey, he's dead, that's great. Uh, and then, yeah, we get... Guts is uh, pulling more arrows out of his backside. He knows it's not, he knows it's not done. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. And we, we get a little black boxes. But I assume it's him either getting up or, yeah, he's getting up. And then even Puck is like, uh, what? And everyone's like, what? And then he doesn't even take the... He has an arrow in his mouth. 
still smiling. Right. And Guts is just yeah. staring at him and aims and starts shooting again, apparently. Okay. This is okay. And he gets knocked back and Guts is he's uh he keeps walking forward here. He knocks him into a house. Uh checks his gun, ellipses, uh guards look at him, ellipses, and we see Flock uh check out the sitch. There are a lot of ellipses, you were right. Looking into the door. Um, and it looks like everyone's gone. Ellipses. Okay, we should probably keep an ellipses <laughs> counter at some point. No, Whoa! <laughs> we have a tail just comes out. He's a... Is he a snake? Like okay. an actual snake? So he Guts notices something and then a tail just sends him shooting back out of the door. Guts. His body is just falling limp. Whirly, and, der yeah. Whirly Derby is falling by the wayside. Yeah, uh, and we got... Oh, man, that... You can tell that hurt. Yeah. And, oh, man, Flock. Flock? Puck. Flock is like... Puck, sorry. Puck is like, guys! And he goes flying. Uh, coughs up uh, what looks like a tooth. Guys! Uh, uh, he's like, he got the wind knocked out of him. Think, okay, I, I, it took me a second to see what you're talking about. Next is next page is yours. Oh, next page is mine. Wow, I'm yeah. sorry, we got caught, I got mixed up there. It's futile. Just, we should just say next page. Or something. Next page. Um, well, I got evens anyway, so it's futile. No matter how many bolts you shoot at me. Excuse you. Mm. Um, okay. That is awful. It looks like something going into another thing, and I'm uncomfortable with how this looks. And his mouth has something going into it, and his mouth looks like something else. I'm very... I can't look at this anymore. I'm very uncomfortable. It looks like a snake. It looks like a, a penis in a vagina. A snake in a hole. <laughs> and even okay. Guts notices. He's just like, hentai? <laughs> Alright, the next page, and we get a full page, uh, a full, uh, page spread, uh, 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 it looks like a hybrid. Oh, he's not beating this. Oh my goodness. So, there's a face inside the snake, even though it's not a snake because it has arms. I'm, I'm very oh glad it doesn't have that. genitals. I'm, I'm not and surprised with this it. artist, but this looks amazing, the shading on its tail. It's incredible, and yeah, the tail's really long, by the way, and yeah, it looks very demented, demony. Do you think it's his armor that's actually turns into this, and he like his, the? F oh man, well, like, yeah, I'm looking back. No, no, no. I think that uh, that's separate. Uh, it's all you. It's all you, man. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I, I got the full. Okay, okay, fine. You want to? Oh wait, back? no. Oh yeah, you did have that. So. Mine is, I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat you alive, boy. Whoa. Mm. It does. It looks like that's. It's still him. It's a mon. Yeah, you're right. He's a monster. And it, it looks like his men didn't even know because they just bolted. Right. And then even Puck is like, ah, eek, all you. Uh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming! Ah, and he's coughing up more blood. Come on, Guts, look up! Come on, Guts, look up! What the hell are you doing? And then in the next panel, we get Guts getting absolutely just tailed whipped. Which in Pokemon doesn't do much, but in this does a lot. Um, I like yeah, your Guts trivia knowledge. <laughs> Uh, Guts uh, hits the building at incredible speed, coughing up even more blood than he was before. <sighs> Guts. Ugh. And the tail's coming back again, and it catches him again. He's not doing very well at this, as everything is burning all around them. What are the apostles? How many are apostles are there? I'm very interested. Guts has taken the hit, coughing up more blood. 
Um, looks like he actually just hit the ground too. Okay, and I uh, Puck is is like obviously more fine. Oh, still breathing, are we? What <laughs> kind of voice I get this guy? Oh, still breathing, are we? Most humans would have had their organs crushed by the first blow and quite be would be quite dead by now. But it all ends here. Has he only for... been using tail slashes? Right. Probably a good idea to keep him at a distance or else he's going to be uh, able to swing at him. And, oh man. And ooh, it guts his cup of blood and then his eyes roll back. And his tongue is out. And his tongue's out and what looks like gagging, you know, like dead noises. So does Gus just not die? I'm so confused as to this entire thing. It, it looks like he just died. Puck is mortified. Oh, Guts! Oh, weak. How pathetic humans are. And he's being held up. But this is the closest he's gotten, so... Mm. You humans are nothing more than food. Oh, he's licking his cheek. Nothing but morsels to fill our stomachs. Food should learn to act like food. And here comes the, uh, the, the face. Looks like you get a really good time. I'm, on, I'm moving on your mark. There's some kind of, yeah, let's go. There's some kind of string, and he has it in his teeth, and he pulls it, and it blasts, blasts his face. He has a uh, cannon. It, it, it's a cannon in his arm. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, it just blasts him, and his eyes in this direction, he's in that direction. Uh, so basically, like, this quadrant of his face is missing. And yeah, of course, it looks incredible. Well, that's, like, he's been using tail, sla tail whips this entire time, and then he finally let his guard down and was like, oh, ha, ha, I've beaten you. Huh? Pew, pew. <laughs> It's only a one-shot deal, right? It's like he gets that one shot. And that's why he has to make sure he's close so well, he does it. Let's see. Puck is just like, Nani? Gut falls down, and it looks like he's dying. He's falling back. Face is on fire. Reaching for it. Guts picks up the slab. Starts moving it. Okay. And... Oh! <laughs> yeah, and he comes in and he does a big swing with man. His canines are so cool looking. He has these giant canines, and uh, yeah, he just slices them in half. Just as easy as to do the bar. Like it, it, there, it, that thing. Just there's no stopping that sword when he swings it. Like, look at that. Well, this explains why he was using tail whoops to keep him at a distance. Yes. And also, you notice that the the sword is just a bunch of lines, like, going this way. Like, it's not, it's not like he, uh, yeah, it, it looks insane. <sighs> Move, uh, and uh, organs, it, intestines are just flying everywhere. Guts hits the ground. S uh, looks like he's holding his sword up. Guts, guts. Looks like he's balancing himself, trying to get up. Uh, yeah, I coughed up blood, and then in my panel here, uh, he gets up. That <laughs> is actually a cup. Up. That's so weird. That? He is, he is actually wearing a cup. I did. I thought that was just the design of his pants. That is actually a cup. Right, right, and he has a that psychotic look in his eye and he's like he looks like blood, he looks like a demon he looks bloodthirsty and uh Pac is like we're looking mortified the thing cuts in half and falls over and yeah it looks like it's wriggling that's why he has the exclamation point going like it look oh. at his hand it's moving right oh, Eesh. ew it's still alive I feel sick I, you, dude, you better not be crying at this point. Middle panel looks like he's crying. Hey, don't die on me yet. Oh my god. Oh, stop, please. What? 
Didn't you say it doesn't matter how many bolts I shoot at you? It must be rough being unkillable and all. <laughs> yeah, next page. Uh, like you said, we humans, humans are weak. We die easily. But no matter how weak we are, even if we're being chopped to bits or stabbed to death, we still want to live. I'm going to give you a little taste of what it's like. And, yeah, he, he says shooting at the top of his skull, and stop! And, uh, which is, assumedly, Puck telling him to stop. And, uh, yeah, we have him looking like an absolute madman. Are we sure he's the protagonist? Nah, he's something. And, yeah, Puck is, like, shuddering, you know, shivering in... Uh, and bloodlust. What, what it looks it's, like. It's this is terrifying. Yeah, it is bloodlust. Who are you? Oh, so yep, yeah, that came from before. That mark is the brand of sacrifice. You are the God Hand. Where are the other five members of the God Hand? What? Okay, so, uh, that mark, it's the brand of sacrifice. You are the God Hand. Where are the other five members of the God Hand? The, that, that's... I don't know, I don't know where they are. It's not for apostles such as I to know. So is he, yeah. so he's higher than, so Guts is higher than this dude? No, wait, okay, what? If he's the God he's saying, Hand... No, he... Wait, I don't think he's calling him. You are... Oh... Maybe. I'm, I'm confused as well. Uh... Let's go to the next page. Maybe that will solve our issue here. I'm telling you the truth. Take your time and savor it. As your body slowly... Is slowly burnt to ashes. So he believes them. He's like, oh, I, I bet you don't know. And yeah, he, he starts burning. <laughs> oh my god. Got to well, burn. that's the thing. <laughs> He's burning in the city that he was burning to the ground. Right. And Guts knew he was going to be coming there to get him, so... It it sounds like he's just like a a, ma a, a master 4D chess player. Wait, please! <laughs> right. I don't want to die. Wait. Help me. No, dude. What are you talking about? Puck, are you really feeling for this dude? Alright, I really don't like Puck. Puck's yeah. really crying because he's screaming. How many people did that dude eat? Um, and then the next is a one eye and one not eye, and he's looking very pissed off. And we get another excellent pose of him walking. Uh, putting his sword back on his on his back. Yeah, it's cave. I love that cave. That's a good cave. And then we have a few ellipses from Puck. Berserk? The Black Swordsman. Ed. Okay. Wow. I think this is going to be a welcome series on the channel. The rest of the chapters won't be an hour long or however long this is, but yeah, this is, well, I had fun. Can, can we have like a quick thought on what we read here? I don't know what I read. I really don't. Well, so, let, let's go with Berserk. Let's go with that first of all. So, what was the definition of Berserk would be like to uh, rampage, right? To go Berserk. To go and be unhinged to, do, to accomplish a task. Or something like that, I guess. Um, hmm. I could see that. Yeah, I, I could. I could run with that. I so also, the it. mayor said, you know, he was trying to protect his own skin, right? The Lord Mayor. Mm -hmm. And and we're like, oh man, what an asshole. So we see that side of it, like, oh, you're sacrificing people to stay alive. Then Guts's end of it is that he doesn't care. Like, look, everyone died in this town. He didn't really necessarily save anybody. And if he did, it wasn't that many people because, I mean, the, the street is lined with bodies. And so we have the mayor who 
is actually saving more lives than not, but also looking out for his own life. Yes. But we fuck that guy, right? Yeah. And I can say fuck on this one because we're talking about really awful material here. And um, we're way deep into it, so we're good. I know. So, why do we want to follow Guts? And I think it's, it's to this point is he just does what he wants. And it's cooler to kick ass as you're going down than it is to hobble and be scared of the man. You know, right? I, I, can, I can go with that. Um, I'm interested in his 4D chess playing with um, Spider Dude Bro. I'm interested in these apostles. Apparently Guts is God Hand. Not really sure what that means. So there's a lot of intrigue on this series. Again, I, I'm very thankful to um, the individuals who have been talking about it, especially since um, Kentaro Miori, Miura has passed away. So this it just feels like something anyone who wants to consider themselves like a diehard old school weeb anime fan should really at least attempt. And I'm so, I'm gl- I'm glad that we attempted it because this is brutal. Holy cow! Wait, I, I just want I just want to go back to something. Uh, the God Hand thing. So it, it, he's not saying, "Are you the God Hand?" Gus is saying, "The God Hand." Where are the five members of the God Hand? He's he's saying God Hand first, and then going back to it. And you can tell because there's little squigglies representing his the terrified snake dude. That mock. It's the brand of the sacrifice. You are dot dot, and it's his, and then Guts basically interrupts him here and says, the God Hand, where are the five members of the God Hand? So I don't think Guts is the, is the, five, is the God Hand, whatever that means. I have no idea. If we have Snake Dude, we have, we first got introduced to him banging what I think is still a, de- a female, but demon whammon, like that's... Dude, what does that have to do with anything? At <laughs> all. Not, literally, that has nothing to do with anything. It was just like, some cool ass thing to do. I'm interested, I'm interested in the world building. I want to see what the different types of creatures are. I mean, if fairies look, if elves look like that, I want to see what dwarves look like and werewolves and Every piece of panel that this dude was able to put together was insane. I it's a little disturbing that his the best panels were of people being sliced into two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got the dude at the bar and then the guy with the horse. And wait, we got three of them. There's yeah, the at least three people were sliced in two. At least three right. people. Did the old man survive? We didn't see him die, did we? He got taken off to a jail cell. They took him away somewhere. He probably is dead. If if we the dude was eating child, women and children, so chances are mayor dude is dead. <coughs> okay. All right. But I think that is well, a, a great place to end our first time diving into Berserk. It's going to be a very long series, but I mean we're not going anywhere. Runaway Warlords. It, I mentioned this to Drew earlier. It'll be interesting if. Uh, which will end f- first, us doing a b- berserk watch through <laughs> or One Piece, because we do One Piece every week. So we'll see which uh, we, which ends we first. We gotta do like a couple chapters. We, we'll do uh, four yeah, or five. We gotta, we'll do three, two yeah. or three. Um, once we get into the actual chapters, but the prologues are roughly sixty pages. I looked at the other ones. Oh, there's more than one prologue. There's like nine. Oh my god. We ha- hey, we have content. So. For all of those who are Berserk fans, and if we're missing anything, please let us know. I'm a, I'm a Berserk virgin. I really have no idea. I've, I've uh, played around in the hallway, but I actually haven't di- diving into the pool. So it's, for me personally, I would really like to know, especially those diehard Berserk fans who have been here for 20 plus years. Kind of like how we are with One Piece. Let us know. We, it's really fun to hear what people are thinking and... Um, also to agree with how crazy this world is. But I'm the Dark Britain. I'm Samurai Drew. And we will catch you all next time. Stay rockless, warlords. Peace. <laughs>